to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Monday, June 5th of 2023. Similar to epidemics such as COVID or dengue, criminal gangs have spread throughout most popular sectors of this capital and other provinces of the country. Several people were injured when citizens who were participating in a teteo in the La 43 sector of San Pedro de Macorís confronted police officers who went to the place to bring order. The Dominican population currently faces the risk of increased cases not only of COVID-19, as specialists have warned, but of contracting other diseases as a result of rains and floods. The Minister of Public Health, Daniel Rivera, said that until yesterday, no case of cholera had been detected in Dajabón. For almost four months now, the Comas de la Cruz family has lived in the pain and uncertainty of having suddenly lost her 12-year-old girl, Yamdra Comas, unaware of the reasons that led to her death. The Robert Reed Cabral Pediatric Hospital reported yesterday that two coronavirus-positive patients had been admitted as of Friday. The General Director of Migration, Venancio Alcantara, dismissed an immigration agent who was involved in an accident where a minor was seen hanging in the arms of a woman through the bars of an institution vehicle. The flow of exports between January and April of this year amounted to $3,961 million, presenting a drop of 3.99% in relation to the same period of 2022, according to the General Directory of Customs. The net international reserves as of May were located at $60,186.6 million, $1,750.1 million more than the accumulated amount at the end of 2022. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com. For Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.